Greenhouse farming is making an upgrade by using less photons. In an indoor vertical farm, you'll find an intricate array of lighting. All the weed plants growing need splashed with light. They absorb all that light, and so there are lots of lights in their consuming energy. Each crop shelf has to have its own light source in order for plants to grow sufficient quantities. In an effort to increase energy efficiency, researchers at Purdue University are currently studying the use of red and blue lights on plants. Less power is needed to bathe the plants with red and blue light rather than with the standard white light emitting all colors of the spectrum at once. By not wasting the other colors into the abyss, indoor vertical farms reduce their building consumption with low energy LED lights that emit just the right shade of magenta. Research shows that a mix of red and blue wavelengths is all that a plant really needs to grow, and greenhouse farming is best pink. In the whole spectrum of ROYGBV, the OYG and V aren't a substantial necessity for plant growth, just the smooth R&B. Not only is a pink lighting arrangement reducing the amount of power for the lights, the LED lights are cooler, which also reduces the cooling load. Win-win. There is a greenhouse farming gun pink already outside the lab. Caliber Biotherapeutics grows plants for medicinal use in a 150,000 square foot pink house farm. Stacked 50 feet tall, their indoor farming system grows 2.2 million plants with the red and blue lights, which was designed by EEA consulting engineers. Quote, a photon is a terrible thing to waste, reveals Barry Holtz at Caliber Biotherapeutics. Quote, so we've developed these lights to correctly match the photosynthesis needs of our plants. We get almost 20% faster growth rate and save a lot of energy. End quote. I am Ken Tron, and this is the May 28, 2013 Vault Report.